Hey guys, you asked me to share the bread recipe that I have been loving so much. I think I originally got it from the New York Times. Either way, it's really good, really easy. You just have to plan ahead a little bit. So to a large bowl, add six and a half cups of flour. In a separate bowl, add three cups of warm water, one and a half tablespoons of yeast, and one and a half tablespoons of salt. This recipe is really easy to have because one packet is of yeast is roughly three quarters of a tablespoon. So you can do three cups of flour, a cup and a half of water, and then a one packet of yeast and three quarters of a tablespoon of salt. So cover it, and then you're gonna let it rise for two hours. This microwave step is not necessary, but if it's winter and your house is cold or drafty, you're gonna wanna put it in a place where it's not gonna, you know, it's gonna be able to stay warm. So I kind of warmed up some water in the microwave first just so it's a little bit warmer than the house. After it's been in there or just been rising for two, three, four hours, go ahead and divide it up in however you know big pieces you would like. So I divided it into four uh, different pieces and then I'm going to actually bake three like the loaves you see and the fourth I'm going to play with just a little bit and I'll share that. If it turns out good, I will definitely share that. Uh, variation with you guys. So kind of fold the dough over itself so that you create this nice little ball and then tuck all the uglier, you know, bits underneath the underside so that you don't see them. So you get this pretty smooth dough ball. So after you've done that, you're going to go ahead and put slits in the top. This isn't just for aesthetic purposes. It also helps release steam from the bread. So it's, you know, pretty but it's also functional. So go ahead and put slits however you like in the top of it. And preheat your oven, by the way, to 400 degrees. Once it's preheated, dump one cup of water in a broiler pan in the bottom of your oven and shut the door as quickly as possible. This actually makes the bread nice and it gives it that crunchy outside and really soft inside. It's amazing, it's a great step. You can even do it with par bakes that you buy you know, from the store. Really cool step. So as you can see here, it's cooking, which will be at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of the loaves that you have and once you you know reach the color that you like go ahead and pull them out and you're good to go so it's hard to cut warm bread I don't know if you've ever done it really hard to do but it's so delicious that you just can't wait you want to eat that nice warm bread anyhow I hope you guys like this recipe video please give it a like if you do good luck and enjoy talk to you soon bye